This step is a small refinement off of our previous example, reading numbers from the rotary encoder. The purpose here is to make sure we're reading numbers that can be useful for us in our LED strip. The first type of number that would be helpful is a number that is an index position on the strip. Our strip has 30 LEDs, so the index positions are 0 through 29. Where we were reading the position, I've renamed it raw position, and I've divided it by 2 to come a little bit closer to reading one number for every click in the encoder. Here we've declared a brand new variable called LED position, and we're going to start manipulating this raw position, which is simply a number growing very large above zero or shrinking very small below zero, and modifying it to become a position on the strip. The first thing we're going to do is use the percent operator, or modulo, and what this does is it divides raw position by max position and gives you the remainder. And the remainder will always be between zero and max position. However, when it grows negative raw position, the remainder is a negative value. So we have to do a step here that looks for a negative value and adds max position to it. This will be explained in more practical terms as I give a demonstration. Let's see how this looks in practice. I'm running the debugger, and I'm reaching over to turn the knob towards the right. We can see the value is growing, just like before, but watch what happens when we get to our max position value right there. We went from 29, and as the raw position reached a value of 30, it was evenly divided by max position with a remainder of 0. And when we climbed up again, it went to 1. So we went from 27, 28, 29, back to 0 and 1. And if I keep rotating, we'll simply do it again. We'll go up to 29 and back to 0. Now what happens when I go left? We see the numbers going down. And what's, what you'd expect to see is a negative value. But thanks to our code here that says if it's less than 0, simply add max position. And the effect is, as we go below 0 and turn one more, we get 29, because it's giving us a value of negative 1, and negative 1 plus 30 is 29. And so this logic we've added reshapes our raw position which can be a number growing extremely large or extremely negative. And it makes sure that that number stays in the range of 0 to 29 and becomes a value that's useful for us in controlling LEDs on our strip of LEDs.